Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to look at the button selector in jQuery. So the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is actually create a button on our page. So let's go ahead and say input type is equal to button. Uh, our value can just be a button. And now with this, we can actually uh, specify the button uh, selector inside our selectors.js file. So we've got selectors.js uh, included in our page. Now let's go ahead and um, actually try and select this button. So to select this button or to reference this button at any point, we could either add an ID or we could select by button. So let's go ahead and uh, use this uh, colon here and button. Now what we've done is we've successfully now selected all buttons on a page. So now what we could say is dot click and we could create a callback function in here uh, in this event handler and we could say alert and alert for example uh, hello. So now for every button on the page that's clicked, remember this is an event handler here, uh, we carry out this function inside of here. So let's go ahead and test that. We've got the button here, when we click on it we have this hello appear here. Okay, so because this is an event handler that's specific to all buttons or, only, or for all buttons, when we duplicate this button on the page, okay, so we've created three buttons now. We've got this one, this one, and this one. What our jQuery handler or uh, selector is going to do here is it's going to pick up all buttons on the page. So it's only selected button or elements with the uh, type button. So we can have a look at this when we click here, we have hello. When we click on this button, we also have hello. And when we click on this button, we also have hello. So for example, if I was to go ahead and change this first one or the last one to submit, uh, this is going to make all the difference because when we click on this button here and this button here, this third one is not does not match the set that has been selected with jQuery. The element isn't a button, so when we click on it, nothing happens because this is a submit. So let's take a look at uh, this, the jQuery submit selector, which is exactly the same using a colon. However, we just use submit. So now what's going to happen is when we refresh our page, the first two buttons aren't going to work, but the third one will work. So we've selected all buttons on a page. So how would this be used in a practical real life um, example? Well, let's just say you have a lot of buttons throughout your website and you have this JS file uh, selectors.js. Let's just say you have a lot of submit buttons that when pressed, you want to disable them and uh, then go ahead and uh, wait for the form itself to load. Uh, you might have these submit buttons as part of a form. Now, if you were to um, create, say, an inline function for each of these buttons, uh, this is extremely inefficient. So if you reference just all buttons on a page and carry out an action just for them buttons, uh, this makes, uh, first of all, a lot easier for yourself uh, because you only have to write a few lines of code but not only that, it actually creates a more efficient application. So let's take a look at what I've just spoken about um, as an example. Okay, so we've got the input type button here. Um, let's just say that when we um, press the button, uh, we want to go ahead and create... Um, um, okay, so uh, let's go ahead and we've created our button here. Uh, we've got a type of button and value is, let's just say, um, register. We might also have a button somewhere else on our website uh, that's called just submit, uh, for example, a contact form or something. So we've got these two buttons. Now what we want to do is when the, either of these buttons are clicked or when any button on our website is clicked, we want to display the text, please wait. So let's go ahead and uh, say submit, which we haven't got, that's button. Let's just change these to submit. So when a submit button is clicked somewhere, we want to change the value of the um, the uh, text in the button. And you could also disable it, but we won't be looking at that in this tutorial. 
So you can reference the um, the button like submit, and then you can say dot attra. This is uh, the attribute of a function. So for example, the value we can change to please wait. So don't worry if you don't understand this functionality just yet. Uh, but essentially, we're just changing the value to please wait. So now, for every button on our page, when we click on it, uh, it changes to please wait. Now, we do have another problem here, and uh, this was created on purpose. Uh, we have please wait now on uh, the buttons. So what if we had two of the same button on the page? Well, what we can actually do is we can use this selector here. And what this will do is it will only change the text for the button that was currently selected. So now let's go ahead and uh, click register. You can see that, that just that one has changed. When we click on this one, just that one there has changed. So I took this a little further than I'd planned to, uh, but just for now, that is the selector, the uh, submit and the button selector in jQuery.